to create an XRF line scan graph from XRF data acquired on the Ideas Beamline of the Canadian Light Source, open up the folder containing your data. Right click your data file and select Open With. Choose any text software you're comfortable with. Notepad is probably the easiest to use. Select the software and select OK. Now here is the XRF line scan data and we would like to copy it all. Select the Edit menu and choose the Select All option. Select the Edit menu again and choose the Copy option. Now we would like to paste it into Excel. Do so by opening up an Excel workbook and in cell A1 right click it and select the Paste icon. Now we've imported the data into Excel. We need to trim it up for just the data we are interested in. So select Row Header 1 and hold Shift as you select Row Header 7. Right click any of the highlighted row headers and select Delete. What is now in cell A1 as denoted by I not X, relabel that to position millimeters. And that lets us know where on the on our sample the measurement was taken. Now in column B as denoted by I not, in column C as denoted by dead time, in column P as denoted by norm dead time, and in all of the remaining columns as denoted by norm and insert element here. Uh, these are extraneous data. We do not need them for the graph that we are interested in. So select column header B, hold control as you select column header C and column header P. But once you have selected column header P, hold shift as you scroll over to the side here and holding shift as you select column header AB. That will select every one of these in between. Right click any of the column headers that are highlighted and select delete. What remains is now the data we are interested in, and it's now a matter of plotting it. So to plot it, select column header A, hold shift as you select column header M, go up to Excel's insert tab, go to the right into the chart section, and the insert scatter or bubble chart drop down menu, select that, and select the scatter with smooth lines option. Now, this is just a bit small, so I'll make it a bit bigger for us. Now this graph looks okay, uh, but a few things need to change. First and foremost, it needs a title. So we'll label that. Uh, there we go, XRF line scan example. Your uh, chart title will be something a little better than mine. Uh, probably XRF line scan and then your sample name. Now the next thing that this chart is missing is axes titles, as right now our x and y axis are meaningless without these titles. So click the charts elements uh, green cross to the top right of the chart, select the axis titles option, and now the y axis is our photon count. Or the number of photons counted at each position for each element. And the bottom is our position measurement, where on the sample the measurement was taken. So that's all the labeling we will need to do. Now it's a matter of zooming in on the data and removing this white space. So to remove the white space, simply double click the numbers associated with the, or the, uh, the axes. And so from here, we want to remove the lower bound and the upper bound. We want to trim those down a little smaller. So our scan started at 19 millimeters for this one. And so I will set my minimum bound to 18 millimeters, removing as much white space as I can. Now the scan stopped at 90 millimeters, so I want to set mine to 92 millimeters, again removing as much white space as I can. Now these units are far and few between, so to have a higher accuracy in measuring where they are, we can adjust our units off to the far right over here, and adjust the major units to something appropriate that will give you a good scale down along the bottom. Now we can do the same procedure to the y-axis, simply double click the y-axis data and new format axis options will appear. We want to keep the minimum bounds at zero, but we can adjust the maximum bounds. Uh, adjusting the maximum bounds occasionally will adjust the minimum bounds, so just reset that back to zero. And likewise the unit distance is far and few between, so let's adjust this to something a little more appropriate. There we go, that's pretty good. Now from here, this graph is almost done. The only thing else that we can change about this is the colors that each of these samples, or each of these elements is uh, color-coded in. 
because there's uh, three blue ones right here that are a little hard to distinguish. So to change the color of any element, go down to the legend along the bottom, click any element, uh, make sure you select it, right click it, select the outline, and choose any color that hasn't been used, and that will be easy uh, to, to show. Now you'll um, pay occasionally get this little indicator, just select yes.